How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to talk about the latest iPhone 13 leaks. I honestly thought I wouldn't make any more videos on this subject on iPhone 13 leaks, especially because I made a pretty long, comprehensive and final video on those leaks like two months ago. But then sometimes we get surprised and sometimes we get some very interesting, really relevant leaks, even though we're just a couple days from the launch of the iPhone 13. So without further ado, let's begin and let me explain why I made this video. Well, we actually have two pretty big leaks that came out like on the previous on the past two days talking about one satellite calls, which is pretty interesting and two portless iPhone 13. And we've heard this before, but new leaks emerge. So I'm going to talk about that as well. So first I have to talk about the satellite call iPhone. This is just so crazy. And the only reason why I'm making this video is because it came from Michi Kuo, which is an Apple analyst that we all trust, that is super reliable, that pretty much never fails and never makes mistakes. So that's why I'm making this video. So what he said is that the iPhone 13 will have a custom Qualcomm chip that will actually enable satellite calls, not only satellite calls, but satellite calls and text messages. And the way it will work is pretty simple. So when your iPhone is in a location, where it has no cellular network. So if you are in a really far away location, stranded somewhere, and then you just don't have any connection with a cell tower, so no signal, no 4G and no 5G, you'll be able to actually make a regular phone call, but instead of using the cell tower or the cellular network, you're gonna be connected to a satellite. This is so, so cool. And the type of satellite that the iPhone will be connected to is actually called a LEO satellite, so a low earth orbit satellite. And you're probably familiar with those types of satellites because that's uh, the satellite that Elon Musk is using to create Starlink. So Starlink is using a ton of LEO satellites to create this network. So that's pretty cool, pretty interesting fun fact. So your iPhone will connect to those LEO satellites and then perform a phone call or a text message. And now we have quite a lot of questions about this. Let me answer them. One you'll not be able to actually use those satellite calls or text messages all the time. Uh, this is a resource, this is a feature that will be only used, that will only be enabled when you are in a situation like that. So no connection to any cell tower. When you are in a situation like that, and you are in an emergency situation, then you can actually use that service and then make your satellite call. So that's very important too we are not really sure how it will work exactly. So you probably won't be able to use uh, this satellite call to call anyone, like your friend, your family member, uh, your spouse. Uh, you're probably only gonna be able to use it to call emergency services or maybe send a text message to one of your emergency contacts. So you won't be able to just go ahead and free call everybody like uh, this is a normal service, like you have a sat phone with you. This is not really how this will work. Also, there will probably be a cost for this service. You won't be able to just call people all the time uh, at your will uh, just because you have this feature enabled. So it probably will come at a cost or maybe you'll be able to use it once every month or once every two months, we don't know yet, but it won't be just a free service that you use whenever you want. Also, as I mentioned before, uh, the iPhone will need a custom chip to actually have this feature working, to enable this feature, meaning that your iPhone 12 or 11 won't take advantage of those satellite calls, even after Apple announces this awesome new feature, if they do, because again, this will only be available for the iPhone 13. And finally, we're expecting that Apple will only announce this feature right now with the launch of the iPhone 13, but it will only be available next year for the use. Okay, so we won't be able to use it right now. When we buy the new iPhone 13, we'll know how it will work and it will only be available next year. We don't know exactly why, 
but those are th that's actually what all the reports are suggesting us so that's also important and please let it be very very clear those are only rumors leaks we don't know exactly if this this will work or when but those are very substantial leaks and last but not least i have to talk about the portless iphone uh this rumor has been going on uh probably for the last couple of years so it didn't start now uh and it won't probably go away but what i have to tell you is iphone 13 will have a lightning port it will have a charging port it will have a large a lightning port again just to be very very clear uh we don't we're not expecting a portless iphone right now for the iphone 13 lineup maybe for the iphone 14 uh maybe we don't know we just don't know but don't expect a portless iphone now all of the four iphone 13 models will come with a lightning port no USB-C, no portless your usual lightning port and if you want to learn everything about the new iphone 13 all the leaks the design, the price, the release date, the colors, the, the, the changes in the display, the camera, everything, everything about the new iPhone 13, please make sure to go ahead and click on this link right here so you go directly to my iPhone 13 final leaks and rumors. Of course, of course we had those unexpected uh, two rumors right now, the satellite iPhone and the portless iPhone again and again, but that video is final and it gives you everything you need to know and to expect about the new iPhone 13. So that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to hit the like button down below, the subscribe button and the little bell icon is just one icon and that you get notified whenever I post a new video. And also please hit the comment box down below. Let me know your thoughts about this video, about this new rumor, about this new feature, if you loved it, if you think it's gonna happen, if you're gonna use it, if this is actually a selling point to go ahead and make you buy the new iPhone 13 or not, if it's pretty irrelevant to you, all right? I always love to read your feedback. So that's pretty much it. And I'll see you guys in my next video as usual. Bye-bye.